Hello, I am the Franchise King, Joel Labava. I, I had to do this today. You know when you, when you watch something on TV or you read an article and, and it gets you so aggravated that you just have to like say something or call someone or talk to someone about it? Well, that's the case in this instance. <laughs> uh, just read an article, uh, I think it was last week, uh, written by a guy by the name of Scott Greenberg, who bills himself as a franchise speaker, consultant, and author. Anyway, uh, I don't know Scott. I, he's probably a nice guy. I have no idea. Never heard of him. Uh, but he was able to write an article over at entrepreneur.com. The article was titled, Finding Post-Pandemic Franchise Opportunities with Broker Consultant Groups. Okay, so I read the article. And I, I, I kid you not, if I had a blood pressure cuff attached, my blood pressure probably, when it was all said and done, raised about 15%. If, if I would have checked it while I was reading this article, I, 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 it, would, it would probably be up over 15% of what it usually is, which is a tad on the high side to begin with. Anyway, I got so aggravated because it was absolutely the phoniest article. All right, well, not all of it was phony, but there were so many things in it that were just phony and just spin, spin, spin about franchise brokers and consultants. Now, full disclosure, I used to be a franchise consultant, broker. Same thing, same thing, coach, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, I would work with people for free and um, uh, instead of paying me, the franchisors would pay me um, large fees. So um, uh, know this, if you're going to work with a franchise consultant, franchise broker, um, they're working for the franchisors, even though they come across like they're working for you. It's just part of the model. It's just part of the model. So let me, let me share what, what got me real aggravated. And then I will, I will tell you the real truth after each uh, spun uh, uh, sentence. First of all, um, there, was, there was something from uh, Susan Scott, who's uh, one of the top coaches at uh, the Entrepreneur Source, which is a broker group. She said in this article, she was quoted saying, quote, we detach ourselves from the outcome, unquote. Um, um, she said that, quote, I still feel great success even when my clients decide franchise ownership or the timing isn't right for them. My job is to help them realize their truth at that time, unquote. Let me shoot, through, shoot some holes through this thing. This, first of all, um, it's real tough to detach yourself from the outcome if you're not getting paid and let the out, unless the outcome goes your way. In other words, unless the person you're working with um, uh, selects the franchise that you match them with, you're not getting paid. So the outcome 100% uh, depends on your candidate purchasing the franchise. So that, that's really a load of crap. Um, and, and she also called her candidate a client. Absolutely false. If you work with a franchise consultant, you are not the client. The franchisor is because the franchisor is paying you, the franchise broker. All right. So, so if you're, let me explain that again. If you're working with a franchise broker, the franchise broker really cannot refer to you as his or her client because you're not. The franchisor is the client. That's really who the franchise broker works for, even though it comes across like he or she's working for you because the person is trying to help you live your dreams and, and find the franchise that's going to, you know, help you build wealth. All right. So just realize that you are not the client. Really, really important. Um, number two, the, the second thing that, that I saw in this article that, that really bothered me. I mean, it's something that you're not going to be really aware of because you're not in the industry like I am. It says, some people are suspicious of this arrangement, the arrangement that I'm talking about. 
they expect there'll be a surprise cost or they'll pay a higher franchise fee if they're brought in by a franchise consultant. Typically, this isn't true. Quote, franchise fees are declared in the brand's franchise disclosure document, the FDD. The amount is the same whether a broker, consultant, coach is involved or not. All right. Once the franchise documents are rented, are, are printed and, and, are, and are, are sent out, uh, they're not going to change. The franchise fee is the franchise fee, $35,000, $40,000. Okay, it's not going to change. So it's true. If you work with a franchise broker or a consultant, uh, your, your cost uh, doesn't change. But it kind of does. Because sometimes franchise consultant groups, as they're known, um, approach a franchisor before they, they write their FDDs, usually the renewals, which are done every year, before they write their documents and say, why don't you work with us? All right. And then they'll say, of course, you know, the wise thing to do would be to increase your franchise fees so you can pay us. So like, for instance, we want $18,000 for a placement. All right. So you need to raise your franchise fees so you can afford us. Does that make sense? So if the original franchise fee is $30,000, all right, in 2019, and the franchisor, before he or she produces their, their FDD with the franchise attorney at their side, um, the, the franchisor may say, yeah, that sounds good. Let's use a broker group. And all of a sudden, that franchise fee has been raised to forty-five dollars or $47,000 because now they have to pay a broker. All right. So be real careful. The franchise fee is set in stone. And, and in general, you don't pay more for a franchise because you're working with a consultant. But sometimes you are because if that consultant didn't negotiate a deal with the franchisor before you got your documents, then the price may be raised to pay for that franchise broker. If, if, if you're confused on that one, contact me, joel at thefranchisekeen.com. All right, but you wouldn't know it unless you were in the industry. All right, very, very important. Number three, according to the article by Mr. Greenberg, there are several advantages of using a consultant. First, they can do a lot of homework for you. That's true. There are thousands of franchise systems around. Fact, true, about 3,500. A consultant can help you narrow that down. Right to the franchise companies they have signed contracts with folks. Franchise brokers aren't going to work with you unless you are only pretty much looking at the franchisors they have contracts with. So, um, for example, if you work with a franchise broker and you're looking at a senior care franchise, if you start looking at a bunch of senior care franchises on your own in addition, and you start mentioning the names of those, most franchise brokers and consultants will say, well, well, the one that, you know, we work with, you know, we vetted. So, you know, we know that, you know, they're, they're really good. Uh, I'm not sure about the other one. Why? Because the other ones they're looking at don't pay them fifteen, seventeen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for a placement. All right. So make sure you understand that. Finally, uh, there was a story in the article about uh, a franchisee of Kitchen Tune-Up which is a, a franchise organization that's been around for a long time. They come in and uh, the franchisees have employees that come in and like reface your cabinets in the kitchen and stuff. Been around a long time. I think we worked with them when I was uh, a broker. Anyway, so this, this person um, uh, has advice for working with a consultant. This is the person that owns a kitchen tune-up who found kitchen tune-up by working with a franchise broker, franchise consultant. Here's, here's the advice, quote, you're not paying anything so you've got nothing to lose. They're trying to help you. Uh -huh. Blood pressure, wait, wait, where's the blood pressure cuff? They're trying to help you and they know what they're talking about. Keep an open mind, unquote. Okay, true. When you work with a broker or consultant, you're not paying anything. Their services to you are free because they get paid 20 grand by the franchise or if you buy the franchise they're, 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 they match you up with, okay? Um, they're trying to help you and they know what they're talking about. They know what they're talking about so they can get a commission from the franchise or keep an open mind. That one I will agree with, keep an open mind. 
if you're going to work with a consultant broker, first of all, do your homework, use Google. All right. Um, and, and have an open mind about what are he, he or she is showing you. So again, if you're working, uh, looking at like a pet services franchise, uh, a franchise operation that takes care of pets, um, and you decide that, oh, it's pretty good. Don't stop there. Look at some competitors that the franchise broker is not working with. Do it on your own. You don't even have to tell the franchise broker that you're doing this because this isn't about them. This isn't about helping them create their income and increase their wealth. It's about you and it's about you and your family and, and, and finding the right franchise. So the bottom line is listen to me. No, I'm kidding. Um, I, I, I offer straightforward and truthful advice. Uh, this was kind of a way to do it in some people will say a funny way. And if any franchise brokers are watching this, they won't think it's funny at all. But hey, I, I am what I am and um, I speak from experience. Finally, there are really some good franchise brokers around that do care about you and, and that, and that want to go further than just making $20,000. Okay. But like anything, you have to really vet them. Use Google, use Bing, use DuckDuckGo and dig deep. Google their names, Google the company, all right, and see if there's anything around. A lot of franchise brokers these days don't even have a franchise background. They were downsized middle managers potentially and stumbled across this and became franchise brokers uh, and they know nothing about franchising. Uh, you can learn. But it, it takes years. It takes years. So I am the franchising Joel Ababa. Thank you for listening to this really short video. And go to thefranchiseking.com. Contact me if you want. Joel at thefranchiseking.com. And if I can help you, I will. Thanks for watching.